Dan, some of your thoughts about that interview there with Stephanie? Yeah, very compelling, uh, Grant. It really, be, you know, sitting back and watching both of you interact, you know, paints an entirely different picture of the, uh, the stereotyped gun owner that the left-wing media and the coastal elite bubble wants to paint for America. There you have clearly a woman uh, proudly pronouncing her faith in God, uh, number one. Number two, her, her father is an unbelievable hero who, uh, you know, we had an expression in the Secret Service grant called get big, meaning when, if, if God forbid you're in a firefight and someone attacks the President of the United States, get big, don't shrink because you have to eat those bullets, not him. This is a family that got big. And yet, I mean, all she wants to do in the entire interview is keep the focus on the victims. Amazing. Yeah. Also, a couple other things there. She emphasizes, you know, safety, gun ownership, how she grew up with firearms. I mean, really, uh, a very compelling, important interview um, that I think would do, you know, and I'm being very candid, Grant, I think the coastal elites and the media should watch that. Yeah. I, I think they would understand a lot more about what they call flyover country and what we call home. I think you're right, Dan. And, and you know, what's amazing to me is that those coastal elitists are unaware that there are women like that, men like her father, all across this country in little towns uh, just like Sutherland, Texas. And, and I wish they would listen to it. Maybe they would learn something. You know, the other thing that struck me in all of this is She's been somewhat forgotten as a hero in this, but she drove her car down there. She put eyes on this church. She gave her father intelligence that would keep him safe. She gave him the description of the guy wearing yeah. the black tactical gear going in. He knew what he was up against when he got there. That's a very different situation than going in unknown, and she deserves credit for that. Yeah, you know, I was kind of floored by that, Grant. I hadn't heard her story I had heard her father's. So when she, I was listening to that interview in live time just as you were doing it. It was all news to me. So when she said, you know, I got in my car because I didn't want to be on foot, logically, I mean, I, I'm not in any default to her at all. I thought she was going to say, and I got out of there, which is what most people would do. I, really, that's what I thought she was going to say, because that's what 999 out of 1,000 people would smartly do, get away. But that's not what she said. And I was really taken aback when she said, no, I drove down to the church. And I'm thinking, gosh, this family must have some kind of hero gene in them. I mean, what a brave, brave woman. Uh, again, I, I really encourage anyone who's got this malignant view of American patriotic gun owners to watch that video. And, and maybe it'll open your eyes to a bit as to what America, you know, what really flows through American blood you know, not the stereotype you think is there. That was a, a really terrific interview. That really surprised me. And I'm glad you let me react in live time. I did not know that story. And this is a genuine response.